What's up you guys? Welcome back to Alleyways or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content. I have a really special video planned for you today. I'm doing a pack with me video for my Turks and Caicos trip that's coming up this week. So as you can see, my room behind me is kind of a mess. I've got a lot of bags and clothes out. So I was going to show you guys how I pack for a trip and then the things that I'm specifically taking for this trip to Turks and Caicos. Let's get started. Okay, so to start out, I have all my swimsuits. I am packing 10 swimsuits just so I have plenty while I'm there. I'm the kind of person that if I go in in the middle of the day and change clothes, I cannot put a cold wet swimsuit back on. One thing that I did this year is I ordered a lot of swimsuits from Shein and Amazon. I've got hauls on my YouTube channel that you guys can go and watch. And all the swimsuits come in these little plastic bags and I'm going to pack some in there in case I have to pack some back in my suitcase that are still wet, it won't get everything else wet. I also like to have one pair of sandals that I can wear to the beach. And I'm going to pack more cover-ups. I've got one coming in from Amazon. I got this kind of little kimono um, in my Easter basket and these in my Easter basket. Thank you, Easter Bunny. And I'm going to take those. And then the last thing I have on my dresser is a cute little pair of super comfortable pajamas. Okay, so I just got my suitcase out of the attic. I'm taking this one. It's a gigantic maroon one. I know it's not as cute as my other luggage, but it is huge. And if I'm gonna pay for a bag, I'm gonna make it count. <laughs> so I'm taking this one. I actually got this one um, as part of my Miss Tennessee prize package. And I'm so grateful for it. So I'm going to make hay while the sun shines and show you guys packing my swimsuits. What I'm gonna do is use some of the Shein bags as kind of like bootleg packing cubes. I don't know if you guys have seen that. They're all over Amazon. Meredith got some because, you know. Well, Meredith got some. And I'm going to use these little Shein bags. There's a bunch of the ones that I got that I saved from my haul of clothes for this trip. And what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna keep some of the smaller bags that they came in in case I need to separate off wet swimsuits when I'm packing for the way home. So I'm gonna pack all of these in here. Hopefully I can get them all into one. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll give it our best shot. So some of these are new that haven't been even on a haul yet, but will be definitely on my Instagram. I'll put my Instagram up in case you want to follow. I love it if you would. So I'm gonna get these. So you guys can see the storage. And the great thing about this is that then everything isn't falling all over into itself inside your luggage and it's easy to get to. You can just grab out your bag of swimsuits and then dig around in that without upsetting your workout clothes and your outfits for dinner and everything else like that. So I'm going to pack these in here like so. And the Shein bags are perfect because they're clear so you can see inside them to see like a packing cube what's actually in there. Do you see this? I just broke this bag. Well, let's see if I can fix this. Let's see if I can make it right. Got it. So here's one kind of, here's my bootleg packing cube of almost all my swimsuits. I'm gonna do another one now. So one of the great things about reusing these is it's kind of a, a way to recycle these bags. And I always recycle all of my plastic bags, but this is a fun way to repurpose them. I'm just gonna put all my beach related things in. This is actually gonna be perfect because I will have room, I'm gonna put this cover up in and then I will have room for my other cover up that's coming from Amazon in the mail, I think today or tomorrow. Um, and that will finish off. So I'll have two kind of packing cubes, bootleg packing cubes for swimwear. So, that's that. 
moving on. The next thing to pack is outfits for dinner. We will be going to a really nice sit down dinner on vacation every single night. And the restaurants at beaches are amazing. And we already have the places that we're going to go for dinner picked out. And so I picked out these outfits kind of with that in mind but i'm gonna put these in one of the packing cubes also and go ahead and get it in the suitcase okay some helpers have arrived mom is here you can see her lovely leg right there and then meredith meredith say hi hello meredith as you can see is very excited to be here yes and izzy izzy will chime in occasionally in the background what do you guys think so here's a slightly bigger bag from Shein than the one I used last time. You guys think this for dinner clothes? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put all the dinner clothes I just showed you guys into this. <laughs> Meredith is enticing Izzy with a scrunchie and even though she sounds ferocious, she is. She is. Exactly. So they are fighting over a scrunchie, but we are getting our work done. So I'm just going to get all of these in here. Hopefully all in this one. You guys think it'll happen? Mm, you half, of half of them. Comment now if you think it'll happen. This one. I love this dress. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Actually, it was already in the hall. Which one? The one from Charlotte Roofs. Oh yeah, who picked that out? Who picked, who picked that out? Packing it this way, it seems a little neater, doesn't it? Here is the first one. I'm wearing lots of yellow, as you can see. Side. So we just turned the ones in the suitcase up oh on gosh. their side. I don't know if you can see that or not from there, but I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna turn this up on its side and put it in the suitcase. And then we'll get a smaller bag. That's not smaller. Let's look for a smaller one. Also not smaller, also not, that's too tiny. Never mind. we'll get a large size bag and put the rest of these in there. So I did pack some alternate outfits for dinner options because sometimes you pack something and then you get there and either you're sunburnt in a way, like in an area that then it would be uncomfortable to wear that in or you're just not feeling it or the dress code has changed, so I packed two alternate dinner outfits. And there they are. So I'm gonna pick you guys up and show you my handiwork. Here's my handiwork. So this is all of my, this is actually gonna be the majority of my clothes really when I think about it. Dinner outfits here, swimsuits here. Okay, so in one of the bags that our swimsuits came in, I put two workout outfits. I really just packed shorts and then sports bras to go with them because it is so hot and they do have an open air gym there. And I only packed two, even though I'll pretty much be working out every day because we can wash clothes while we're there. So this is done and it can go in here. Might get moved later. I always bring a robe with me every time I go on vacation or really travel anywhere because it's so nice when you're having to get ready to have a robe or like move around the room when you're not dressed yet. I always bring house shoes so I never have to walk barefoot in my pajamas. I'm gonna pack all of these together for kind of a sleepwear bag. So we'll do that really quick. Okay, I got my sleepwear cube in there. Cube, cube. I feel like I'm about to get ripped online for calling these cubes, they're bags. But I'm feeling good about this. It's looking organized and like it's gonna be really super easy. So next I need to do toiletries, jewelry, and then just some traveling outfits and casual outfits to have for walking around and um, hanging out at night. So we'll do that next.
So I'm packing all my toiletries. I'm going to take my Zinogen with me. This is a shampoo and conditioner that I use. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel or not, but basically it's good to... Um, it's accelerating and lengthening therapy for your hair, so it helps you grow more hair and longer hair. That's what I use. If you guys want a discount code, let me know. I can get you on. And then the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel Conditioning Treatment. I love to have a really great conditioner with me at the beach uh, just because I feel like your hair gets a lot of wear and tear. And this one also is good for toning because I feel like with my blonde, it gets really brassy after sunscreen and sun and um, all that jazz. So I'm going to be taking these with me. So you guys can see I keep all my toiletries in this little kind of uh, roller that hangs up so I can take this with me in the bathroom because I do share a room with Meredith on vacation. So whenever it's my turn to shower, I just go, I hang it up inside, and I have everything I need while I'm in the shower. And I think that is just about going to do it for toiletries. I had and laid out all the jewelry that I'm going to need to go with my outfits on the trip. And I have really cool packing cases from a company called Person. They were part of my Miss Tennessee prize package. And I'll show you guys just how great those are and how easy it makes packing jewelry. So this is my packing case for jewelry from Person. And the really cool thing about this is you can see how many separate and different little compartments there are. So these are really great for holding things that don't tangle. But for your things that tangle, a necklace for example... You open the inside like this, and then in here there's a little flap like that. So what you do, so you hang the necklace over that little flap, just like so, and then button it, and then take the rest of the necklace and drop it down into the pouch, and then it won't get tangled like so. I'm going to fill this up with all my jewelry and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after. So as you guys can see, the person is great because it fits earrings perfectly. It's like earring cards, hoop earrings. These tassel earrings that I'm taking are big. I just don't want to put them in anywhere that's going to make everything not zip up. So I rest them on the side like that. And then what you do is you just flip all the pouches so they face down. I put a bangle in here. So I'll zip that up. You fold that in. Here's my necklaces. And then it's ready to go. And so I'm just picking out what I use to do my face every single day. And I'm putting it over here in my little toiletries traveler. So you guys can see I already started with my brushes, tweezers, anything that's flat that can go in this top zipper pocket I'll put up there. And then everything else I'll work down in here. So I've got all my toiletries packed now. One thing that I always do when I go on vacation is to pack a small handbag with me. And I do this because we go to dinner at night or out walking and I always like to take the camera that I'm using now, my vlogging camera and my cell phone and a room key. And it's kind of a lot just to tote around plus anything else that I might need like medicine or chapstick. And so I think I'm going to take this bag with me this time. Because the heels that I'm going to take are... Oh, I gotta grab hair extensions. I hang my hair in my closet like this. I thought you guys actually might be interested in seeing how I pack my hair extensions. Guys, I almost forgot something really important. Sunscreen. Okay, I always pack my sunscreen in a pencil case. Okay, and that is it. I am all packed and ready to go on vacation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for continuing to come back to the channel. I appreciate it so much and I can't wait to share my vacation with you guys. I'm going to be vlogging the entire time I'm in Turks and Caicos and I will see you guys here next time on Alleyways. Bye!